Chicago, um, Los Angeles, St. Louis, anywhere where we have runaway crime, we know, and these soft found crime policies and bail reform policies, we know that killers are actually walking free. Yeah, isn't that disgusting? And why do you think, I mean, is this all about trying to create chaos and then try to buy votes? Or, I mean, what, why would Democrats want to create these soft on crime policies and then put all the money behind these prosecutors and DAs and judges that won't throw the book at these scumbag criminals, regardless of the color of their skin? Why are they letting them out, do you think? Why are these people getting a slap on the wrist? Well, I, I think it, it stems from, in New York anyway, it stems from Albany. Um, we have Carl Hasty and Andrew Stewart Cousins who um, are sitting up there in Albany and they are feeling sorry for criminals because of something that happened to a gentleman named Khalif Browder or Brower, or whatever his last name is. He spent quite a few years in jail for stealing a backpack and he committed suicide three years after he was released from Rikers Island. He couldn't afford the $3,000 bail, so um, when he finally did get out, he committed suicide years after he was released. So they used that as a reason to um, instill these bail reform policies. Also, the, 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 the bottom line is um, money, you know, um, to, to close down Rikers and close down all the jails in New York City, you know, to build smaller jails smaller jails around the five boroughs, and um, they really don't care what happens to the public. They're not really interested in quality of life issues or, you know, uh, even the offenders themselves. They, they, they're not, they don't care. They, they just don't care. It's become a revolving door yeah. is what it's becoming. Disgusting. You know, uh, that, this is why our NYPD, you know, um, they, they are disrespecting them and the criminals don't even fear them at all. You know, uh, they, they're constantly resisting arrest. And, you know, if I was the NYPD, I wouldn't, you know, arrest them either. I wouldn't go through the changes of doing it because I wouldn't risk my career or my job or my life when they're not going to do anything but release them anyway. That's a great point. Think about the cops out there that put themselves, their lives on the line, and then you bring the bad guy into the station house, and the next day they let him go. I mean, I've only got a few seconds left, Madeline. Thank Not even so next day, within a few hours. Right, sometimes Within a few day. hours they let them go. Right. My yeah. last question to mm -hmm. you is real simple, and I, and I have about 20, 30 seconds left. I see you're wearing the Trump 2024 hat. I just want to ask you why you believe in Donald Trump and why you think he'll help fix this problem. Coming from a mother, who knows? Go ahead. Well, um, I feel in my heart that uh, President Trump holds our values, our conservative values. He believes in God and family and country, you know, and, and this is what we need. We need a law and order restored to America, and I believe that he will be the best person for the job to get it done. You know, um, he's never been one to shy away or back down, even with getting his ear blown off. That's he true. still stands up and says, fight, fight, fight. Yes, he does. Madeline Brink, National Crime Victim Rights Advocate and CEO of the nonprofit group Rescue Angel, who lost her son, Hassan.